home and I got an absolute pretty flowers. How cute are these? These are so cute. And so many of them are unopened. So I'm gonna go through and consolidate. That is a word that we use around here a lot. Oh, I bought these two little containers last night to put one for olive oil and the other one for like the regular oil, whatever that is. But I have to go through and like consolidate the flowers. Yes? What's that? I'm harvesting the, um, the petals from all the roses I have and I'm letting them dry in this little container that I have. I feel like eventually I want to have like a huge vase with just dried rose petals. I don't know. I guess I have to also see how well they dry. You know how they look when they're all dried out? So far they look pretty okay. The red ones are so nice. White ones are a bit discolored. I'll have to see. This one I got like two roses in there. I literally love flowers and that's known. They never just die. These are so cute. Oh. Just the variety of like colors and oh they're so cute. So I'm gonna go through here and pick out whatever is dying. Which I feel like is the perfect time because it's literally trash day today, so like that really works. You know, I'm always, there's this um, resident at work and we're always talking about flowers together on the floor that I'm on. And she's like, oh my gosh, you should get some plants. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know that I have a green thumb, but like, I feel like I do pretty good with just keeping regular flowers that are already cut alive. This is so aesthetically pleasing. Oh my god. Wow, that's crazy. So aesthetically pleasing. I need to find somewhere to put the bottles now because now that I have them here, I don't want to see them. And obviously, you know, the difference between the olive oil and the regular oil is very evident. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Are you talking to me or are you talking to the camera? In general. So both. You know, I like little things. It'd be the smallest things that makes me so happy. Like a container for the oil. You know how long I've wanted these? Oh, oh fuck yes, no. Huh? No. Marshall? I bought a story yesterday when I was on the road. Let me wash this because <laughs> I don't want to hear that. One plate was left in the sink, yada yada yada. The entire kitchen is clean. There's nothing out here that is unclean. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna hear about it because we have a whoever cooks the other person washes rule however when i cook there's barely anything to wash because i wash as i go along the only thing that's always left to wash when i cook is pretty much like the dishes that you ate out of and i have mad paper plates up here 
So the only thing that should be left afterwards is like the pots that you use to make the food. That way, it ain't a lot of stuff to cook. And I'm trying to get everybody to like operate the way how I operate because one, it does make your life a little bit more seamless because by the time you're done cooking, the kitchen is also clean. He's gonna make, what is this? Fettuccine pasta with ground beef and Prego tomato sauce, Italian sausage and garlic, got it. Here's the thing, I don't like tomato sauce. I don't like sauces in general, but I definitely don't like tomato sauce. I don't think I've ever expressed that before, but I don't like tomato sauce, so I don't know if I'm gonna like this meal. But if not, it's some leftover all food in the fridge. It's called bolognese. Whatever it's called. What is called bolognese? The sauce? The dish we're making is bolognese. What are you eating? Anyways, I'm about to go take my scrubs off and literally sleep because I feel like I'm so tired I was falling asleep at work today. So I'm gonna take my scrubs off. Hell no! Hell no! Hell no! What? Hell no! If you wanna sleep when I wake up, that's fine, but I'm gonna sleep now. Hmm? What do you mean it's up to me? <laughs> I know that it's my choice and I choose no. to go to sleep no. right now. You wanted to cook this meal, please light the candles so it smells good inside here when you're done cooking. Can you light it? You can't light candles? Mm -hmm. Figure it out, light the candles so it smells good in here no when extra, you're done. No extra it's not extra activities, but I don't want it to smell like tomato sauce in here when you're done making whatever this dish is called. So, light the candles. You can also light the one in the living room here. Oh, shit. I know in the... Not my, 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 my table. <laughs> what is this called again? I don't even know what it's called. He done lit the thing on fire. He done lit the thing on fire. Lighting the candle. How do you not move the candle for? Come on, it's right there where your finger is. It's burnt? You gotta be blind or something. No, I did not owe you another one. You paid for that anyways. Anyways, I'm about to go to sleep. Oh. Cooks. Listen, when I go to sleep, do not come in there with no noise. Don't come call me for nothing. Everything that you need is literally already inside of this kitchen here. Do not call me or wake me up. Everything, he will be the one cooking. Is not he will be the one cooking and calling you. <laughs> Where's this? Where's that? Look around in the kitchen. It's The kitchen is not even that big. Like, If you look around, you'll be able to find the things that you're looking for. Everything is not in the kitchen. Am I the drama? I'm gonna go sleep.